Look, a stylish glass walled room. Very nice. You could see the whole parking lot from there. It says security. Oh, perhaps it's cafe. Pain. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> okay, I swear I'm going to lose it. Dying, huh? Oh, cafe security. Yeah, that must be it. Well, let's check it out later. I I need a cup of coffee at this point. Jeez, uh, I I hate to I... break it to you, but I think that's probably just a securities guard's office. Now there is probably coffee inside, but it's probably theirs. I need some stronger than coffee. <laughs> You know I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. Honestly, I'm impressed. Out of 500. Oh, oh. Let's go with out of 500. Too bad they don't have a test for common sense. Really, though, that's a vibe. That if You know, out of all the vibes Phoenix has, has dropped in here, you know, that's the vibe. Maybe, maybe she is academically smart, just not street smart. Okay, I... Maybe I, that's it. Well, yes, Mr. Relativity. And that's all I'm gonna say. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay. It sounds silly, but think about it relatively speaking. Oh god. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're just all crying. We are all crying. All right. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Well, uh, this is the car, I'm assuming. Well, no time to waste. Let's get hunting for clues. Hmm. I wonder what this is. Oh, hello again. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of coming home quietly. <laughs> the, the sheriff or marshal or something. Sir, well, like I said before, this here is our claim. And yeah, I'm a kind of cowboy. Dangerous is my middle name. Oh. You best been moseying along. Unless you're fixing to bath a bullet. You know, Let's the front... say the front view is better. Beautiful. Yeah, the front view is good. That side view when he's shaving, I'm a little like, what's going on here? Ah, scary! Finger guns! How could he? C could you just tell us one thing? Who owns that car? <laughs> ah, well, well. Little Phyllis got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang with the body in her saddle, eh? Okay. Yes? I don't understand the, <laughs> the body in her saddle? Oh, he's calling it the... Okay, the boot. He's calling a saddle. All right, now I understand. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I've never heard that one. Yeah. <laughs> you probably would have gone your whole life without hearing it if you didn't play this. <laughs> Please. No problemo, partner. Bad time for fiddles anyway. <laughs> you go over to cafe security over there? Kazoo tight? Get yourself to the saloon up on the 12th floor of the prospector's office. <laughs> <laughs> the prospector's office. Might just find you a cerveza you like. Cerveza. Cerveza is beer. It's a beer. Gesundheit. Might just beer. find you a cerveza or so whatever that is. Uh, prospector's office. Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? Well, note to self. Look up. Vittles, Saloon, and Cerveza. Okay, I gotta admit her notepad face is very yeah, adorable. Yeah, it's adorable. So it's so cute. Every time it was so short before, <laughs> Honestly, but now she's really going. Adorable. So I'm like, adorable. Yes, she really, like, it is. Yes, be passionate about the thing. <laughs> it's a little smile lip thing. That's it. That's what does it. Maybe we should check out room 1202, the high prosecutor's office. Uh... Oh, God. <laughs> In any case, after you get your survey sauce or whatever, stay away from the car. You're the one who said the word. Don't act like you don't know what it means. You can look around here all you like. Just keep your paws off our claim. I want to point out this really cute detail that Capcom did. His beard is mildly shaved where he pretends to shave it all the time with his knife. That's actually really good attention detail. Right. Great. Great. Maybe there are some clues around here, Mr. Wright. Let's check it out. Oh, can I oh, be her? You want to be her? Yeah, yeah, please. yeah. Excuse me, are you all set? Uh, us? What's this? She couldn't be. Y you're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene. What the f is going on? What the f is going on? Hello. Half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks. And you, sir? Uh, y yes Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Uh... Thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance, especially passerby. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you, you don't exactly look like the type to have clearance. Well, that's hardly a way to greet someone, even if my days as the cough-up queen are over. What the f- C cough up uh, Help. <laughs> You know, I'm feeling kind of full. Maybe I'll pass on lunch. 
I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? <laughs> I'm referring to the murder. The stabbing of that detective. Wh what? A witness clearly saw me committing the crime. Y you mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, ca cough up, queen. T tell us what happened. Cough it up, lady. The name is Angel Star. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Nani? Yes, ma'am? Yeah, she means it. <laughs> Oh, Phoenix Damn. is just terrified. <laughs> uh. Somehow, I knew yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Was yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. You should know the foul misdeeds of evil ones who haunt this den of iniquity. It Evil ones. A cab. Prosecutors. They have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. Okay, well that's true. And yesterday, they paid homage to the most evil one of all. They gave an award for the king of prosecutors. What a farce. So, she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. Uh, was Edward there? I mean... I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Now that would be a crime. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Uh, Emma, you should go look up Manfred von Karma and then tell me about it and come back, alright? I also recommend a philosophy class, very useful. Young miss, muck me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough-up queen. I would not be advertising that. Ew! The most heinous of all the evil ones. The one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. R really Really? What? I'm totally confused. One thing's clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. Is it Edgeworth's car? I want it to be Edgeworth's car. If so, it were Edgeworth, you would have been the one that was killed. I guess so. But didn't she say he? Well, yeah, but it, it was the guy with the uh, the ascot and the white suit. Oh, oh, we were saying that... Goodman. No, no, no. Goodman was a, was a police officer. He wasn't an attorney. Oh, yeah. the detective. Yeah. Like, for example, he okay, detected so that knife in his throat. Been? Edgeworth's here! <laughs> Edgeworth is in here, and so is Gumshoe, but that's all uh, we have Maybe right he'll now. help us later. Yeah, so maybe we will have Gumshoe and Edgeworth eventually. So, what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife, so... Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Uh, wait a second! You know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. Here, how many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. I almost spit out my water. <laughs> <laughs> All no, over my I, keyboard. I am like so close. I'm Every dying. single line almost has me. I'm dying. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and the best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? <laughs> No. Only true connoisseurs can understand. Here, the kind you can only tell someone who has tried General So's Trilobite Lunch Set. That is a concerning title. I don't want to eat a trilobite. Please don't make me Neither eat a trilobite. You are not a connoisseur. You wouldn't this doesn't understand. sound pleasant. Dylan, do you oh, know what a no. trilobite is? Of course I do. It's a bug. Yeah, it's a big roly-poly. I don't want to eat a big roly-poly. You Dr. know that crunch? You that know looks fine. That scene that. in Emperor's New Groove where they eat the freaking pill bug? Disgusting. Oh, yeah. 
it's Horrifying. Bad. The worst. Uh, never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a trilobite's flavor. Thank you. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Y your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass wall booth? I sell my lunches and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway. I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, this star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not, did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clams in the chowder. Ew. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure case of food poisoning. Scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking, Cough Up Queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Yeah, all right. I mean, that's what we got to say to you. Uh, should we present the ID, maybe? I feel yeah. like we should. About this card. Hmm. Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially not a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to a detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady. Why? Because you're the star witness. That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. Why do I always feel like I'm being mocked? Yeah, you that'll, are. that'll happen. All right, can I go examine the thing now? Oh no, I can't, I can't cue anymore. Oh no. All right, I guess we're going up to the prosecutor's office. Boop, 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 Onward boop, and boop, upward. Boop. Dun dun. Is this Edgeworth's? It looks oh, like Edgeworth's office. Oh, like, is that his jacket on the wall? Yeah, I know it is. The steel samurai in the background. Out of dying. Yeah. Also, Ori, T said in the background. I see it. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah. Okay. This is the kind of room that just screams I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Oh, thanks. <laughs> look, look, there's a trophy or something here. It looks broken up here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. On a couch? Oh, whoever's office this is, they must be a real stuck up jerk. This is totally leading, Dylan, I bet you it's- Phoenix Pry, you never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice! Yes! Hi! <laughs> oh, oh, we got him! Here he is. There he is. Long time no see. Edgeworth. Huh? Ah! M Mr. Edgeworth! Hmm? You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course. I'm his biggest fan. Oh, God. <laughs> My sister introduced us once, and... Right. Her sister is the chief prosecutor, after all. What office is this? I thought this was the chief prosecutor. I'm confused. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you. I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. Oh, No, did... I, uh, uh, no! Come on, edgy, edgy boy, give me a little whoop, huh? Come on, loosen up. Uh, it, it was just Mr. Right here, he... Hey, don't blame me. W we're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty it's bright red sports car in the parking it's lot. It's totally his car. It's 100% his car. Hmm. <gasps> my car. Look at his face. <laughs> what the heck is that face? He's Though. I know my car is to die for, but this is ridiculous. Like, but what's happening with the upper portion of the face? Because he's annoyed. This is his ticked off face. His this is his, face. I would murder someone if it is legal face. Literally, though. What? Yeah, your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. We hope you enjoyed watching this episode of the Arcade Cabinet. Join us. We're live 9 p.m. Eastern, Twitch, and YouTube. If you like what you've seen so far, consider giving us a like and subscribe for more content and chaos. See, See you next time. time. And Meowth, that's right. No. <laughs> <laughs>